all the derivatives you have done to this point have been of explicit equations. For example, y equals x squared, y equals x over x minus 1, y equals root 2x plus 1, all explicitly express y in terms of x. In this lesson, you will be working with implicit equations, where the relationship between x and y is only implied x squared plus y squared equals 1, x times y plus y squared equals 3. Equations where it's not as easy or sometimes impossible to solve for y are examples of implicit equations. It is possible to differentiate implicit equations using implicit differentiation. The most important thing to note in implicit differentiation is that y is not an independent variable. It is implied that y is some function of x, and therefore you have to use chain rule any time you derive a y in implicit differentiation. Our warm-up goes over some explicit differentiation, and then we'll work on our procedure for implicit. The derivative of y equals x is 1. Here, y prime equals 2x. For c, we'll use the general power rule. Pop down, power down. u goes inside, and u prime is multiplied out here. Again, we're going to do the general power rule, so pop down, power down, what goes inside? u, what goes outside? u prime. x equals y squared. This is not an explicit equation. So can we differentiate it explicitly? Yes, we can solve for y. Square root both sides, and you'll get y is equal to plus or minus the square root of x. If you notice, x equals y squared is a sideways parabola, so a positive root function and a negative root function would give you that sideways parabola. In order to derive, let's rewrite it as a power. Pop down, power down. That's our explicit derivative. But when you have an implicit equation, it's usually very difficult, if not impossible, to solve for y. And that's why implicit differentiation is much easier than turning it into explicit and deriving it that way especially because that's not always possible. So our procedure is to differentiate both sides with respect to x, remembering that any time we differentiate y, we have to include y prime, the chain rule. To collect all your dy over dx, aka your y prime terms, on one side of the equation, factor them out, and then solve for that. We are deriving both sides of the equation with respect to x. That means deriving each specific term with respect to x. When your variables agree, you do not need to use chain rule. So the derivative of x squared with respect to x is 2x. Uh-oh, the variables do not agree. So the derivative of negative 2y cubed with respect to x is negative 6y squared times the derivative of that inside function, which is y, with respect to x. Variables agree, so the derivative is 3. The derivative of a constant is 0. Our next step is to collect all the dy over dx terms, which we just have 1, and to solve for dy over dx. Now we'll divide both sides by 6y squared and get our implicit derivative. Find the slope of the lines tangent to and normal to the graph of x squared plus 4y squared equals 25 at the point 3 comma 2. Let's derive both sides with respect to x. The derivative with respect to x of x squared, our variables agree, so it's just 2x. The derivative of 4y squared with respect to x, our variables do not agree, so we need to include chain rule, pop down, power down, multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is the derivative of y, with respect to what variable? x. Solve for dy dx. There's our first derivative. We're trying to find the slopes of the tangent and normal lines, so I want to find the slope at this particular point of 3, 2. 
there's a special notation that we use when we have dy over dx and you need to plug in an entire point or maybe just an x or y value. We put dy over dx, this long up and down straight line, and then in the bottom you'll put what point or what x value you're plugging in. This is just telling you, hey, I'm taking dy dx and I'm evaluating it at 3 comma 2, similar to function notation. Negative x over 4 times y. This is the slope of the tangent line. Derivative is equation of the tangent line. So what is the slope of the normal line? That is perpendicular to tangent, so opposite reciprocal, so positive 8 over 3. Our equation for the tangent line is y minus y1 equals slope times x minus x1. And the equation of the normal line is the same with the opposite reciprocal slope. Given x cubed minus 2xy plus y cubed equals 5x, find dy over dx and evaluate at the point 1 comma 2. Begin by deriving everything with respect to x. Variables agree, so this is just 3x squared plus x we have an x times a y. This is a product. I cannot tell you how many times I'll see people write negative 2x times dy over dx and be done. No, this is the product of two functions and we must use the product rule. So it goes f times the derivative of g. What is the derivative of y with respect to x? dy over dx. That's what that notation means. Plus g df, the derivative of negative 2x is negative 2 because we're deriving with respect to x. All right, the next one is y cubed, so 3, y squared. Did your variables agree? No, they did not, so you also need to multiply by dy over dx. And the derivative of 5x is 5. It's time to get those dy over dx terms on the same side. Factor out dy over dx so that you can solve for it. Time to evaluate at the point 1, 2. The x's are 1 and the y is 2. The slope of the tangent at 1, 2 is 3 over 5. For number 4, they want us to find the second derivative. Go ahead and find the first derivative on your own, and then we'll go over the rest together. There is the first derivative. Let's derive it again to get our second. This is going to use quotient rule. I'm going to go ahead and put this negative in the top. So it would go low, d high, the derivative of negative x, and remember we're deriving with respect to x, is negative 1, minus high, d low. What is the derivative of y with respect to x? dy over dx over low squared. Negative y plus x times dy over dx over y squared. Are we done? They want us to find the derivative in terms of y. It's also okay to have x's in there. If I can only have x's and y's in my answer, dy over dx has got to go. But what do I do with it? dy over dx is negative x over y. We already solved for that. Our answer cannot have a complex fraction, so we're going to try to combine the fractions in the numerator. And if you're taking this and dividing by y squared, 
That is equivalent to multiplying by 1 over y squared. So if negative is in front, y squared plus x squared over y cubed.